Pay your fare using only your hand. Are you one of those people that's always losing stuff like keys and tickets? Well, Sweden has found the solution. Around 3,000 Swedish commuters have had biometric microchips implanted in their hands in order to pay for train tickets. Commuters who elect to have the RFID chip implanted under the skin are able to have their tickets loaded onto the device. The implants use near-field communication technology, similar to contactless credit cards or mobile payments. When activated by a reader device a few centimeters away, information can be transferred between them using magnetic field induction. The train conductor then scans the microchip with a smartphone to complete and verify the ticket transaction. An estimated 20,000 people in Sweden already have implants and are using them to swipe in and out of the office and to pay for food. You want to put that where? Science fiction is becoming fact, and we're not sure we like it. A tech firm in Wisconsin is about to become the first company in the U.S. to give microchip implants to its employees. Three Square Market, which designs software for vending machines, says more than 50 of its workers have volunteered to have the devices fitted. The microchips are about the size of a grain of rice and will be inserted into the skin between the thumb and forefinger. The microchips will allow workers to access the building and log on to their computers. Employees can also use the chips to buy food-like products from office vending machines. The purveyors of this dystopian technology claim there is no GPS function and it won't be used to keep tabs on employees. But we can't help but feel like we're sleepwalking into a future where even the blandest details of our lives are recorded, possibly to be used against us at a later date. The company says none of its employees are required to get a chip implant. But it's not impossible to imagine a world where this kind of thing is the norm. And if you want a job, you'll have no choice but to become part cyborg. Just because something tech-related is possible doesn't mean we have to do it. Paralyzed monkeys walk again with brain implants. Paraplegics may soon regain use of their legs now that scientists have created an implant that proves effective in primates. In a spinal cord injury, brain signals are unable to reach the neurons that activate movement, often resulting in paraplegia. But Swiss researchers have found a way to bypass this, successfully restoring movements in paralyzed monkeys. The team developed an interface that uses two wireless implants, a sensor in the brain, and a nerve stimulator near the spinal injury. The sensor picks up brain signals commanding leg movement and transmits them to a computer. The computer decodes the signals and sends them to the second implant in the spine. From there, pulses of electricity are released to stimulate certain nerves. This in turn triggers muscles in the leg, enabling it to move and flex. The researchers plan to apply the technology to improve human lives, but say it may take several more years to achieve. Toxic Tush Doc gets 10 years for illegal butt injections. A bogus plastic surgeon in Miami who injected a toxic concoction of fix a flat and super glue into a patient's posterior has been sentenced to time in the slammer. O'Neill Ron Morris appeared in court on Monday and said she took a plea deal so she wouldn't have to face a jury trial. Morris, who's a transgender woman, was sentenced to 10 years in prison and five years of probation. She will serve her sentence in a male penitentiary. The fake doctor reportedly pumped women's backsides full of a formula of cement, mineral oil, bathroom chalk, and fix a flat tire sealant. One of the procedures carried out by the toxic tush doc led to the death of Shatarka Nubi, who died while serving time in a Tallahassee prison. The judge also heard from several other victims about how they became sick after getting injected with what they thought was medical grade silicone. Police said Morris made a business out of performing such cheap and dangerous cosmetic procedures. Chinese mom threatens to disown girl who's addicted to plastic surgery. 29 year old Yu Bing recently made headlines in mainland China for her crazy plastic surgery experiences. Yu had some 20 plastic surgeries in the past, including jaw contorting, nose reconstruction, and double eyelid operations. But she is still not satisfied with her looks and says she wants to grow taller by having bone extension surgery in which a doctor would break her shin bones to insert implants. Yu desires to be another Fan Bingbing, a world famous Chinese actress. Fan, known for her perfect skin, big double eyelid eyes, 
and sharp nose has long been troubled by a plastic surgery scandal. The actress strongly denies the accusations and says she was born pretty. Yu's mother went on a talk show aired by Dragon TV to complain about her daughter's plastic surgery addiction. The 61-year-old mom said her daughter has already blown 800,000 Chinese yuan on changing her looks and now she cannot even recognize her. She threatens to disown her if she doesn't stop. Yu seems remorseful after listening to her mom, but ironically, her face forbids her from crying because she has just got surgery that would keep her lips upward all the time. We tried to find out more about Yu's personal life by going on her Weibo, but we're not exactly sure if this is her. Trust me, we really tried. This woman has the same name as Yu and looks roughly the same. But you know, millions of Chinese girls who had plastic surgeries look exactly the same. It's getting really hard to tell who's who.